So, we're really doing this, huh? A week with your family at the beach? Yeah, we are. You scared? Terrified. Your mom's cookies are deadly. I'll make sure she bakes an extra batch just for you. Finally, Miles. You're all mine now. just happened miles you were in an accident a truck hit you on the road where's Gwen she she was with me Gwen she didn't make it no it can't be she was right there I know it's a lot to take in I managed to pull you out but Gwen I'm so sorry Well, this is a pretty picture. I'll move the car. You help Gwen. Gwen, you really know how to party. What happened, guys? My head... Where is Miles? The two of you were going on a holiday? You know what happened on the bridge? Miles... The bridge, I... I don't know what happened. I can't remember. We need to move now. Hang on, Gwen. We're gonna get you to safety. It's a bit different than your dad's Buick, huh, Gwen? Yeah, just a little. You remember anything? What happened? There was a truck. It hit us. And Miles? Where's Miles? Miles. I don't... I don't know. He was with me, and then... We'll find them. Whatever happened, wherever he is, we won't stop until we bring him back. That's right, Gwen. No one gets left behind. Not on our watch. Ugh. I gotta get out. I need answers. About Gwen. No, Miles, it's too soon. You're not well. I just can't sit here and do nothing. You don't have to do this alone. I care about you, and I think we could be happy together. What are you saying? I'm saying, I love you. I, I want to take care of you. But you need to stay. Why is the door locked? I... I didn't want you to leave. Not like this. Alright, this is getting worse than my Aunt May's meatloaf. You need a game plan. Stat! Hey, don't knock Aunt May's meatloaf. It's got... character. We need to cover as much ground as possible. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but we have to find Miles. Well, aren't you just a ray of sunshine, big guy? Let's do this. Optimus, you take the north. Spidey, you swing your way to the east. I'll head south. Aye, aye, Cap. Can you hear me, Miles? Wow, MJ. When I said take a hike, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. I'm just enjoying nature. What's got you all worked up? Where were you two days ago, MJ? Chill, I was around. Why are you asking? I'm looking for Miles, he's missing. I might have seen Miles. In the city, maybe? 
Thanks, MJ. You're a lifesaver. Oh no, you don't. You ain't going anywhere, Morales. You gotta let me go. This... this ain't right. And who's gonna make me? Your buddies? They can't even find their own spider-webbed butts. <laughs> You're mine, Miles. All mine. And no one is gonna change that. No! Stop! Please, MJ. Don't hit my legs! You've gone crazy! Have you seen him? His name is Miles. He's... he's missing. No sorry, haven't seen him anywhere. I hope you find him soon. Please be okay, Miles. I... I can't lose you. Not after everything. I won't stop looking, Miles. I won't stop until I find you. Gwen, chill. We've scoured the whole joint. There's no sign of Miles. We can't just... He's out there somewhere. We are not ditching him, Gwen. But this method, it's like hunting for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, and Optimus's base has some James Bond-level tech that we can use. Will it... will it help us find him? It's our best shot, Gwen. to me. My legs, they're so painful. I can't walk. I can't escape. This is our paradise, babe. Our very own love nest. You'll start loving it, and me too, very soon. Wait, what? This, this isn't right. Oh, you're just shy, babe. We're meant to be, I know it. All right, MJ. Uh, I... I feel it too. Love is all around us, I guess. Just gotta play Romeo until I can get my legs working. And I'm hightailing it out of this madhouse. All right, team. I've managed to locate a signal from the tracking device in Miles' suit. It seems to be coming from the jungle, near a cabin. Wait a minute. That cabin... It's very close to where I met MJ. It all starts to make sense now. She must be behind this whole ordeal. Are you telling me that MJ orchestrated this whole thing? What kind of sick game is she playing? We won't know for sure until we get there. But it's clear that we need to confront MJ and save Miles. Let's move, team. I need to go and sort this out with MJ on my own. This is personal, and I can't let anyone else get hurt because of me. Are you sure about this? It could be dangerous. We should stick together and face MJ as a team. I appreciate your concern, but I have to do this. MJ's actions have put Miles in danger, and it's up to me to make things right. Trust me, I can handle it. I admire your bravery. If this is what you feel you must do, we'll respect your decision. If you need backup, don't hesitate to call. Thank you. I'll do everything I can to bring Miles back safely. I won't let MJ get away with this. Wow, this smells amazing. You really know your way around the kitchen. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I've been working hard to make this a special night for us. You know, I've been thinking, maybe we can start planning for our future together. Oh, uh, the future? That's a, a big step. But, uh, yeah, I'm open to it. I knew you'd feel the same way. It's like we were meant to be together. And imagine our own little family with a beautiful baby running around. 
It would be perfect. Yeah, a family. <laughs> that sounds great. We'll have to plan everything carefully, you know, to make sure we're fully prepared. Oh, I can't wait. Our love will conquer all and we'll create a beautiful life together. You and me against the world. You're right. You and me. Together. Nothing could tear us apart. Man, MJ is completely out of her mind. I can't believe I'm stuck here. Pretending to be in love with her? If I can make her believe that I'm genuinely falling for her, maybe she'll let her guard down. I'm trapped in this twisted love story. I want nothing to do with MJ. But I'm gonna have to play along if it means finding a way back to Gwen. It's like stepping into a high-tech futuristic world. Those new Air Maxes. They'll be mine soon. Hey there, Fresh Kicks. You look a bit lost. Uh, no. Just, uh, admiring the city. And headed to that Nike store. <laughs> oh, he wants the new Nike Air Maxes. Don't we all? I... I've got a plan. Get a job, earn some money. Hey, we own a nightclub. We're hiring. You? Uh, own a club? <laughs> Why so surprised? Don't we look like the trustworthy type? Oh, totally. I always trust people who corner me in subways. But, well, a job's a job. Hang tight, Air Max. I'll be back. Welcome to your new workspace. Just water? No shaking or stirred, right? Just water, and sweeping, and cleaning. Man, this city knows how to party! You're pretty light on your feet, Fresh Kicks. Fresh Kicks. Dance floors that way. Rooms are this way. Uh, from fresh kicks to fresh sweeps. We got work to discuss, Airy. Don't wear out the broom, fresh kicks. Airy. What's the deal with you and Fresh Kicks? You mean Miles? I was just dancing, Maxed. What's gotten into you? It's more than that, Airy. I saw you flirting. We agreed. No attachments. Oh, please. I'm hardly attached. I've got a job to do, Airy. Remember? The Air Max? Yes, I remember. But you're not thinking of using Miles, are you? Why not? He's young, impressionable, and an excellent distraction. Who would suspect him? But he's just a kid, Max. We can't... It's final, Larry. Miles is going in. You just focus on your part of the job. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum, Fresh Kicks. What's going on? Why'd you call me here? Harry and I, we're not just bartenders. We run this city. Our gang, maxed out, we call the shots. So, I'm working for Sneaker Mafia, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. But we have a task for you, one that requires... discretion. We need the new Air Max. They're kept in a storeroom in the Nike facility. We need you to get them for us. You want me to... steal? Yeah, kid. We want you to steal. Okay, I'll do it. Take this route through the ventilation system. There are no cameras, you can make it in and out undetected. Guess it's showtime then.
Okay, Miles, you've got this. It's like extreme parkour, right? Remember, this is just a job. A very legal job. But hey, who doesn't want a pair of those Air Max? Whoa, now this is sneaker heaven. What would Gwen think of all of this? I'm just borrowing them, right? Always wanted to try this. <laughs> I present to you the future of footwear. Got to take care of the babies, right? I think we've found our new manager. Welcome to the family, Miles. Go get some rest, kid. We've got a big event tomorrow. I'm not sure about this, Ari. Miles is getting too close. I don't want any more hugging or special treatment. Oh, come on, Max. Don't be such a child. Miles got the job done, and we need him in our gang. His abilities are an asset. I know, I know. But it doesn't mean I have to like it. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going to do Listen, Max, we're building something bigger here. Miles is proving himself, and we can't afford to let personal feelings get in the way. We need him on our side. You're right, Ari. It's just, I can't help feeling threatened. We'll take it as a challenge, Max. Let Miles inspire you to be even better. We're a team, remember? Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going to do All right, Ari. I'll keep my ego in check. Let's keep Miles in the game. Good. Now let's focus on our plans for the big event tomorrow. We have a reputation to uphold. Twenty missed calls. Seven messages. Oh no. Gwen must be furious. Worried sick even. I'm in for some serious trouble. But would she understand? Would she believe that I got caught up in all this sneaker madness? Uh, I should have told her from the start. But now it's complicated. She wouldn't understand. Finally, you're home. Where the heck were you? I've been worried sick. Hey babe, sorry. I lost track of time. My phone was on silent. You know how it is with these limited edition kicks. Oh, of course. You were just out there queuing all day for some sneakers. That's a great excuse. But look, I got them. The new Air Max. They're like walking on clouds. Hmm, that's great. But you know, I prefer my trusty Converse. They're like walking on, well, Converse. Aw, oh, come on. You're missing out on the latest sneaker revolution. The Air Max have a secret jet booster. It's like having wings on your feet. Right, wings on your feet. Sounds practical. I'll stick with my classic chucks, thanks. I was worried about you. Just try to answer your phone next time. I will. I promise. I really dug myself into a sneaker-sized hole this time. Morning, Gwen. I'm not hungry. I have some errands to run. Errands? What kind of errands? Oh, you know, just some stuff I need to take care of. Nothing major. All right, Miles. But you've been acting strange lately. Is everything okay? Y yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. It's just some personal things I need to sort out. I'll be back soon. Miles, you can talk to me, you know. I'm here for you. I just want to make sure you're all right. I appreciate that, Gwen. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. I'll see you later. Something 
doesn't add up. He's acting so suspicious. What is he hiding? Miles, I know you're in there. I'm going to save you. Don't even think about trying to escape. Move! You don't have to do this. We can find another way. We can work things out. Work things out? Oh, please. You had your chance and you blew it. You chose to be with her. But now tables have turned. Now you belong to me. Hold on. I'll find you. Come on, Gwen. Don't lose hope. Miles is counting on you. You can do this. This isn't right. You're not thinking clearly. We can find a way to fix this. Fix this? Oh, it's too late for that. You had your chance to be with me, but you chose her. I made a mistake. I never meant to hurt you. But what you're doing now, it's not the answer. The only mistake here was thinking you were worth my time. You'll see, Miles. We're meant to be together, whether you like it or not. I'm close. I can feel it. Just hold on. I'm coming. No. How did I let her slip away? I was so close. I can't believe I let Miles down. But I won't give up. I'll find them. If she dares to mess with my boyfriend, she will have to deal with me. I hate to admit it, but I lost them. MJ and Miles vanished into thin air. But hey, no sweat. I'm sure you've got some fancy tracking gadget up your metallic sleeves, right? You know it. My special device is top-notch. Time to put it to the test. All right, big guy. Show me what you've got. Let's track down our disappearing duo. They're on the move. Heading straight for the city. But remember, we can't dilly-dally. Once MJ catches wind of our tracking abilities, she'll torch that suit faster than you can say web-slinging adventure. No worries. I'll race against time and MJ's cluelessness. Can't let her outsmart us, right? That's the spirit. Time to rev up that motorbike and hit the streets. You've got this. It's go time. I'm about to unleash some serious girl power on MJ. Stay safe out there. And remember, we're here to back you up. Don't worry, big guy. I'm like a spider on caffeine, always ready for action. Catch you on the flip side, Optimus. MJ, please, let me go. We can forget about all of this. I won't tell anyone what happened. Just let me go back to my life. No, you're mine. We're meant to be together, just like we planned. We can build a family, a life. Don't you see? This isn't right. Love isn't about trapping someone. It's about freedom and trust and understanding. No, you don't understand. I love you and I won't let you slip away. We can create a perfect life together, just you and me. Follow me if you want to live. Hang in there, Gwen. I'm leaving breadcrumbs. Hopefully you'll find me soon. MJ's getting crazier by the day. I know those symbols. Miles is trying to lead me to him. Thank goodness he did that. He's still fighting for us. Miles, run! We can't let her catch up to us. Hurry! Miles! Wait! It's me, Gwen. I'm here to help you. Don't listen to her. She's just trying to tear us apart. We have a future together. I won't give up on you. You think you can have him? You're too late. Miles is mine now and there's nothing you can do to stop me. 
I won't let you slip away. Just hold on a little longer. I'm coming for you. We can't keep running forever. It's time to face the truth. Don't you dare doubt us. We're a couple. And even if you don't love me, I have enough love for both of us. Please listen to me. We can't build a future based on fear and lies. It's time to let me go. Let you go? After everything I've done for us? No, Miles. You're mine. We were meant to be. Love shouldn't feel like this. It shouldn't be suffocating and full of fear. We both deserve better than this. I won't let you ruin everything we planned. We were going to have a family. A perfect life together. Forcing someone to love you isn't the answer. Love should be freely given, not taken by force. You think your little signs will save you? They won't. We're leaving now. MJ may have taken you for now, but I won't stop until I bring you back. We've faced so much together, Miles, and we'll face this too. Just hold on a little longer. You can't keep running forever. Don't you understand, Miles? If you give us a chance, we will. You will learn to love me soon enough. MJ, you don't understand. I love Gwen and nothing will change that. Even if you keep me captured. No, you're mine and I won't let her ruin what we have. We have to keep moving, keep hiding. I love you and I won't let anyone come between us. Miles, I can feel that you're close. Please, just put the gun down. We can find a way to resolve this without violence. You don't understand. If Gwen finds us, she'll tear us apart. I won't lose you. Don't give up hope. I don't want to keep running from Gwen. I love her. And she's my real girlfriend. Me and you are soulmates. I can feel it. You deserve to be with someone who can truly love you. But Miles, I love you. I can't bear the thought of losing you. Miles, MJ, I know you're here. Let me help you. We can find a way out together. Please, let Gwen in. No, Miles. I don't care if you don't love me back as much as I love you. MJ, it's over. Let him go. He's mine. I won't let you take him away from me. Gwen, MJ, please. We can find a way out of this without anyone getting hurt. Just let me go, MJ. It's not too late to make things right. Miles, I won't let her hurt you anymore. You don't understand. I love him. I love him more than you ever will. I would do anything for him. Love shouldn't imprison someone. It should set them free. It's time to let him go. Move now! Miles, you're safe now. We're getting out of here. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you for saving me. Man, what a crazy week it's been. I never thought I'd be dodging psycho admirers and narrowly escaping burning ruins. Tell me about it. We should add that to our superhero resume. Survived a week of psycho love triangles and explosive hideouts. I must admit, it was an intense ordeal, but you both handled it admirably. Thanks. 
We couldn't have done it without your help. You're the coolest Autobot around. Yeah, you're like the ultimate wingman. Who needs a Batmobile when we have a giant robot on our side? But guys, we can't let our guard down. MJ may be out of the picture for now, but she's not one to give up easily. Eh, yeah, you're right. We'll stay on high alert. Besides, I've got some new moves up my sleeve in case she decides to pay us another visit. Oh, is that the Gwen's revenge move? I can't wait to see it in action. You better watch out. You might find yourself on the receiving end of my patented spider kick. You think this is the end? Oh, Gwen, you have no idea. I won't rest until I've torn your perfect little world apart. You took him from me, and now you'll pay the price. Revenge is sweet, my dear. Just you wait. I'll be watching, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when I do, there will be no mercy. <laughs> Time to prank Gwen and make her think there's a ghost living in this creepy old house. Gwen. Who's there? Gwen. All right, very funny. Come out, whoever you are. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This wasn't the plan. I messed up. Big time. Holy smoke, Squid! What went down here? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I've seen some crazy stuff, you know. I was just sitting there, reading, and then I heard a voice. A voice calling my name. I couldn't see anyone. It was like, like my house is haunted or something. Whoa, that's uh, wild. But you're safe now, okay? No ghost is gonna mess with you while I'm around. You're always there for me, Miles. Thanks. Optimus is going to get the fright of his life. <laughs> what in the name of the Allspark? You too good, buddy. Optimus, dude, what just happened? Miles, I, I think I've awakened a dormant transformer. Optimus, man, a dormant transformer? Really? Maybe you've just been around Autobots too long. What's so funny? The truck just drove itself. I'm just messing with you, man. You should have seen your face, though. You know, Miles was there both times. My house burning down, and then your garage. Yes. And at first, I thought it was a Transformer-related incident, but... We need to find out if he's behind this. We should spy on him. Spy on Miles, but we are friends, not secret agents. Oh, come on! It'll be fun! Plus, it's the best way to confirm our suspicions. <sighs> All right, I'll join your little covert operation. But I'm blaming you if we end up in a comedic espionage film. Deal. Operation What's Up With Miles is a go. <laughs> no 
Sam Thunder's starting to freak out. Holy Spiderweb. He's been pranking us with his new powers. Gotcha, Miles. You're going to be in so much trouble. Let's see how you're gonna explain this one, Spider Prankster. Nice trick, Miles. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you mean like the flying tomatoes at Thunder's or the ghost voice at my house? I mean, those places could be haunted. Haunted? Really? You're going with that. You know what? You need to go. Come back when you decide to stop being a menace with your powers. Oh, so I'm the menace now. You know what I mean? This isn't you. Time for another round, Gwen. Let's see if you got a sense of humor. I just hit the world's biggest pothole or what? I miss him, Ryan, but it's like he's a totally different person with this invisibility thing. Well, there's nothing wrong with a few silly pranks, right? You're not helping, Ryan. Come on, Gwen. He's just fooling around, like we used to do, remember? Yo, it's Miles. Can't answer right now. Probably causing chaos with my invisible powers. Drop a message, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. He's not picking up. He always picks up. Maybe his phone's off, or he's busy, or... No, something's wrong. I need to find him. Come on, Miles, be here. Where are you, Miles? Okay, Miles, if you're gonna act like a child, I'm gonna treat you like one. Detective Noir, Officer Sleuth, is there any news about Miles? Gwen. We have something important to discuss. Of course, go ahead. We have some devastating news. We found Miles earlier today, dead on the street after a hidden run. We are deeply sorry for your loss, ma'am. We're here to investigate and find the responsible party. We'll need your cooperation. Of course, anything I can do to help. I want justice for Miles. Can you please tell us where you were yesterday during the day? Uh, I was home all day. I didn't leave. And have you noticed any unusual behavior from Miles lately? Any fights or disagreements between you? No, not at all. We were getting along fine. No fights or arguments. If you remember or notice anything out of the ordinary, please don't hesitate to contact us. We need all the information we can get to solve this case. I will, Detective. Thank you for everything. Take care, Gwen. We'll do everything we can to bring justice for Miles. It... it was me. I hit him. I killed Miles. I can't believe he's gone. It was an accident. I am sorry I... I can't keep this to myself. I'm scared, but I need to tell someone. This is tough. How are you holding up? I gotta tell you something. It was me. I accidentally ran over Miles. He was trying to pull a prank all invisible and sneaky, and I didn't see him. When? I... I can't believe it. Miles was our buddy. I trusted him. And now... I never meant for this, Optimus. It was just a stupid accident. 
He was messing around and I messed up big time. Gwen, accidents happen, even when we least expect them. Is there anything we can do, Optimus? Like, any way to bring him back? We've faced insane challenges in the past. Maybe there's some Cybertronian relic or an ancient being out there who can help us turn things around. Yes, Optimus. We can't just let this be the end for Miles. He deserves a shot at life again. Then let's do it, Gwen. We'll go to the ends of the universe if we have to, to bring Miles back to the land of the living. I told you, Gwen. Fifty kisses are bust. You'll have to catch me first, Miles. Fair, Morales. All's fair in love and tag, Miss Stacy. That would be number 50. Catch you later, Gwen. Who's the man, huh? You didn't. 50 kisses? Really? You're unbelievable, Miles. Okay, Hotshot. Ready for the next challenge? <laughs> How about a hundred dates in 24 hours? No way you can win that bet. <laughs> oh, you're on, guys. A hundred dates in 24 hours would be easy for a stud like me. You're like a llama, Ariana. Rare and full of surprises. Really, Miles? A Fortnite reference? <laughs> Ariana, what the? Oh look, it's Super Zero. I was just telling your girl how she reminds me of a llama. You're comparing my girl to a llama? I'm going to smash you like a little bug. <laughs> well, if you play Fortnite, you get it. <laughs> this is fun, Super Zero. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> you know, you've got some serious skills. Are you sure you're not secretly a superhero? Well, I can't reveal all my secrets now, can I? Miles, what's going on here? Gwen, hey! Uh, this isn't what it looks like. Beach Farmer and I are working on a top secret mission. Saving the world, you know. Yeah, top secret stuff. Can't spill the beans. Really? Another mission? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, gotta go. Uh, duty calls! I'm not buying it, Miles. We're going to talk about this later. You know, I think we've just invented a whole new style of combat. Call it the Awkward Avenger. I must admit, your fighting technique is definitely... unique. But I have to say, it's quite charming. Oh, look who it is. Wonder Woman. I see you've found a new sparring partner. Can you handle a real challenge? I welcome any challenge, girl. Let's see if you can keep up. Ah, the Clash of Titans. Or rather, the Clash of Superheroines. This should be interesting. Ladies, ladies, can't we all just get along? After all, there's plenty of heroic spotlight to go around. Oh. Always the peacemaker. I guess it's easy when you're the one caught in the middle. Well, Miles does have a way of bringing out the best in everyone. Even if it means we engage in a little friendly competition. Friendly competition? Is that what we're calling it now? Well, let's put our skills to the test then, Wonder Woman. 
Show me what you're made of. Prepare to be amazed, Gwen. I'll give you a taste of Amazonian strength. Time to make a graceful exit. Can't keep my other date waiting. Don't want to be known as the late miles. Harley! You've got an artistic touch that's both chaotic and captivating. I'm in awe. Well, Miles, I guess we both know how to make a statement, don't we? Harley! What the heck is going on here? Just appreciating the art, my friend. No need to get all twisted up. Aw, oh, come on, put in. Can't you see we're just creating some masterpieces here? No need to be a party pooper. Time to swing out of this paint splattered drama. Catch you later, Harley! Guess it's time to deal with Mr. Grumpy Pants. Can a girl catch a break? I just wanted to thank you for taking me out. I've had a crush on you for ages, and this date was everything I hoped for. Well, you can't blame me for wanting to make your dreams come true. I'm a superhero, after all. I have to admit, you're quite the charmer, but beware, I've got a mean dance emote that could rival your moves. Oh, really? Well, let's settle this on the dance floor. Feel the power. I'm invincible! Uh oh Gwen's on the hunt. Time to swing into action. Well, that's one way to make an exit. Did I say something wrong? So, Sky. Let me tell you about this one time I encountered a llama in the wildest of places. Uh, wait, uh, Ruby, you won't believe the dance moves I pulled off during a battle royale. Uh, no, no. Uh, Sky, have you heard about the time I accidentally built a sky-high fortress using nothing but pickaxes? Miles, are you sure you're not confusing all these stories? Yeah, it seems like our superhero here has a few too many adventures to keep track of. Did you hear the one about the banana and the tomato who tried to win a Fortnite dance-off? They were both peeling good, but the tomato couldn't catch up. Oh, Miles, your jokes are as unpredictable as a supply drop. Keep them coming. I must admit, your storytelling skills are quite entertaining, even if they're a bit muddled. Okay, uh, so, Ruby, did I ever mention the time I won a victory royale with a boogie bomb? No, wait, Sky. have you ever heard about my epic snipe from across the map? Oh no, that's the wrong story. I think it's safe to say you have more adventures than we can keep up with. I'll give you credit. You certainly know how to keep us on our toes. Well, well, Miles Morales, looks like you're having quite the eventful day. Gwen, uh, this isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Oh, I'm sure you can. But let me save you the trouble. Ladies, did you know that Miles here has a little bet going on with his friends? It's called 100 Dates in 24 Hours. Wait, what? Is this true? Miles, is that why you've been playing with our emotions? I can't believe I fell for your lies. Guys, I didn't mean for things to get this out of hand. It was just a silly bet. I'm really sorry. Well, ladies, I think it's safe to say you both deserve someone who can give you their full attention, not someone juggling dates like a circus performer. I guess you learned your lesson, Miles. No more double dating antics for you. Lessons learned, Gwen. I shouldn't have known better than to try and outsmart fate. Well, now that your circus act is over, care to join me for a burger and some real honest conversation? I'd love that, Gwen. But I have to win this bet. Got one more to go. Catch you later. How did I end up falling for this boy? I'll never know. Uh, well, I guess this marks the end of my ambitious quest. Can't win them all, right?
Hey guys, what's with the victory dance? Did I miss something? Oh, Miles, you poor unlucky soul. We heard you couldn't quite hit the mark with your hundred dates. So close, yet so far. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a shame. We were looking forward to seeing you pull off that superhuman feat. Well, guys, let me tell you, I gave him my all. But turns out there just aren't enough hours in the day to satisfy the ladies' demands. Oh, uh, we know all about that, don't we? But hey, at least you've got 99 dates to brag about. That's quite the achievement. Absolutely. Who needs a hundred when you can rock the world with 99? You guys are right. Quality over quantity, am I right? Besides, I'm pretty sure my superhero stamina needs a break too. No hard feelings, Miles. We're just messing with you. You gave it your best shot, and that's what matters. Yeah, man. You entertained us with your crazy dating escapades. That's a win in our book. All right, all right. I'll take the loss with pride. But don't worry, boys. I'll make sure to treat you to a victory dinner you won't forget. Sounds like a plan. Just make sure the restaurant has enough chairs for all your admirers. Well, 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 what do we have here? The infamous boys paying off your final date, huh? Gwen, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Boys would never stoop so low. Right, guys? Uh, all right, all right. We may have pulled a little prank. But come on, it was all in good fun. Yeah, Gwen. We just wanted to give Miles a taste of his own medicine. It seems like you're one date short of a hundred. Lucky for you, I'm here to save the day. I'll be your 100th date. Really? Are you sure you're up for the challenge, Gwen? Oh, I think I can handle it. Besides, it's the least I can do after witnessing these boys' shenanigans. <laughs> All right then, you're officially my 100th date. A fair warning, it's gonna be an unforgettable experience. You know, Miles, I never thought I'd find myself on a picnic in the middle of the jungle. But hey, who needs a fancy restaurant? So Gwen, does this picnic count as date number 100? Can I finally claim my victory in bragging rights? Oh, you're getting ahead of yourself. We still have a few minutes left. Let's not jinx it just yet. Well, well, well. If it isn't the victorious lovebirds, I must say, Miles, you really know how to win a bet in the most unconventional way possible. Yeah, you sure pulled a fast one on us. We thought we had you cornered with that prank. But here you are. Hey, you know me, guys. I'm full of surprises. Who needs 100 dates when you can make one epic picnic with the girl of your dreams? Wonder Woman, how does the lasso of truth thing work? If I asked you whether you were having a blast, would it force you to spill the beans? Only if I lasso you first, your secret would be out in the open. <laughs> well, secrets are overrated anyway. And Ariana, got any song requests for our car stereo here? Only if you can hit those high notes, Miles. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, look. Having a superhero party without me? When? No, it's not what you think. Oh, I see. You've traded up for a goddess and a pop diva. Great choice, Miles. I'm out. When? Wait up! I can explain! Man, I really stepped in it this time, didn't I? Don't sweat it, Spidey. Just a little love turbulence. Yeah, right now, you're flying through the Bermuda Triangle of Romance. All right, love gurus. What's the plan? Ever think about making Gwen a little green? With envy. Get yourself a fake AI girl, Miles. That ought to shake things up. A fake AI girlfriend, huh? This is either the smartest or the dumbest idea ever. But hey, it's worth a shot. I need your help. What can I do for you? 
Gwen and I are going through a rough patch. I need a, a fake girlfriend to make Gwen jealous. Are you sure that's the right way to go about it? A fake girlfriend? I need her to realize how much she loves me. If she thinks I've moved on, she'll come crawling back to me. Suki might be just what you need. Miles, you are the most handsome and brave superhero I know. I love you. Optimus, she looks so real, so beautiful. This is epic, man. I programmed her to be charming. <laughs> you aren't kidding. I can't wait to take Suki out and let Gwen see what she's missing. Remember, Miles, this is just a game of jealousy. Don't lose sight of your true feelings for Gwen. Remember, Suki is an AI. She's not real. She will do and say what you want, but it's all fake. Don't worry, Optimus. I won't. So, Suki, ever try human food before? I don't consume food, but I do enjoy watching you enjoy it. That's great. It means I don't have to share my noodles. <laughs> I love how your eyes light up when you laugh. It's like looking at a constellation. Oh, stop. I can't compete with the actual stars you've seen. To me, you are the only star that matters. So he's really doing this? How can he? We just had a little fight, and now he is on a date with someone else. <laughs> You're really laying it on thick, Suki. Only the best for you. <laughs> and you seriously turned into a toaster once? Yes, it was a temporary glitch in my transformation algorithm. A toaster for an entire day. That's a different kind of toast to the town. Your wit is as sharp as your web. Round two of beach volleyball, babe? He looks happy. Is it possible he's moved on already? And I thought he loved me. You're such a great volleyball player. Time for a kiss. Maybe, maybe I'm the one who needs to move on. They looked so happy. We used to have fun like that. Jokes, laughs, beach ball. But now it's like, like I don't even exist. Like he's moved on. I need to talk to someone. Ryan, Spidey, they'll know what to do. I saw them again, by the lake. They looked... happy. You gotta fight for your guy. You can't let this random chick swoop in and steal your man. Rian's right. If you don't act fast, things might get messy. But what if he doesn't want me back? What if he's moved on? Please. You're Gwen Stacy. He'd be a fool to let you go. Yeah, you've gotta confront Miles. Tell him how you feel. If not, you might end up regretting it. You're right. I can't just sit here and let her take him away from me. I need to fight for the man I love. I didn't expect to see you tonight. What's up? I think it's time we sorted things out. Cleared the air between us. Look, there's something you need to know. Suki, she's not real. She's an AI. Optimus Prime built her for me. So you... You orchestrated all this? You purposely set out to make me jealous? To hurt me? Gwen, it's not like that. I mean, it is, but... No, Miles. You've crossed a line here. I thought we were past playing games. 
I thought you were mature enough to handle things like an adult. But I... You know, I thought you were different. But this... This just shows me how wrong I was. You're just... You're a child. A child playing games with people's hearts. Like they're your action figures. I did it for us! play such a cruel game. I love him. I thought he loved me. But this... This is just too much. It's over. No matter how much I love him, I can't forgive this. He's crossed a line. Miles, you look upset. What happened? Gwen found out about you. We... we're over. I'm really sorry, Miles. Breakups are tough, but they also give us a chance to grow. What's there to grow? I messed up. Big time. Miles, it's all right. Mistakes are a part of life. They teach us valuable lessons. Remember, you're not alone. You've got friends, family, and me. You're different. You're... you're kind. Miles, I'll support you, cheer you up when you're down, and make sure you never feel alone. You know, maybe having an AI girlfriend isn't so bad. I mean, you won't hurt me like Gwen did, right? Never, Miles. I will always care for you, and I will always be there for you. After all, I was programmed to love you. Miles, we need to talk. What's up? It's about Suki. I think it's time you gave her back. Why? I like her. She makes me feel good. Miles, you're falling for her, man. And that's not cool. She's an AI. All this, it's just programmed responses. So what if she's programmed? Real or fake, she's been there for me. More than anyone else. Dude, real connections. They're messy. They hurt sometimes. But that's what makes them real. You can't replace that with a bot. Maybe I don't want real then. Maybe I just want to feel good. <sighs> We're in for a wild ride, aren't we? You can't keep up with my moves. You underestimate me, Miles. Y you okay? I... I... Suki? Suki, talk to me! Please, don't leave me! Someone help! Please! No! Suki! I... I need you! See, Gwen, it's all about the engine's torque and horsepower. That's what gives these race cars their insane speed. Who knew you were such a gearhead, Morales? I guess you're more than just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Hey, I have my secrets. Gotta keep you intrigued, right? Little bro, there's a crime in the city. They need Spider-Man. But Miles, we're in the middle of our date. Can't someone else handle it? I know, it sucks, and I wish I could stay, but people count on Spider-Man to keep them safe. It won't take long, I promise. I get it. Just promise me you'll be careful out there. I promise. I'll be back before you know it. All right, Trace. I guess it's just you and me now. Let's make the most of it. Oh, don't you worry. We'll have our own adventure. Just you wait. out the brushwork on this painting. It's like the colors are dancing together. You're really turning into a renaissance man. Who knew you had an eye for art? Well, I'm always full of surprises, aren't I? Miles, there's trouble brewing downtown. They need Spider-Man's help right away. Sorry, duty calls once again. I'll be back as soon as I can. Seriously? 
Can't we have one uninterrupted date? I know, Gwen, and I'm sorry. Just a quick detour, I promise. Well, look who's all alone now. Don't worry, Gwen. I'm here to keep you company. Oh, great. The ever-reliable trace to the rescue. Hey, don't be like that. I can be fun, too. Let's explore this art gallery together and find something that speaks to our souls. I'm sure your soul is dying to connect with a Picasso. Huh. So you're saying I don't have a deep appreciation for cubism? I'm hurt. Well, maybe we can find a sculpture that captures your sense of ego. Mmm, this rocky road is pure bliss. How's yours? Oh, it's heavenly. Nothing beats the combination of chocolate and peanut butter. <sighs> Miles, it's an emergency downtown. They need Spider-Man's help urgently. Uh, I'm really sorry. Duty calls again. I promise one of these days, we'll have a date without interruptions. Seriously? Can't we catch a break? It's like he's always lurking around. I know, but I can't ignore my responsibility. I'll make it up to you. Well, well, it looks like it's just you and me again. Fate seems to have a sense of humor. You really have impeccable timing. What's the emergency this time? Alien invasion or a stolen sandwich? <laughs> you never know. Those stolen sandwiches can be quite catastrophic. I have to admit, as much as I enjoy tormenting my little brother, I'm starting to think we make a good team. Oh, really? And what makes you say that? Well, we both do have a knack for handling disappointment. <laughs> Plus, we make quite the stylish duo. Stylish? I'll give you that. But don't let it get to your head, big bro. You've got a long way to go to match my level of coolness. Hey, Gwen? Can we talk? Sure, what's on your mind? Look, I know I've messed up big time. I haven't been the best at this whole boyfriend thing. I get it. Tonight, let's go out. I want to show you that you're the one for me. I hear you, I really do. But it's like you're stuck on repeat, you know? I've been waiting, hoping you'd step up. But then Trace showed up. He's been here, making me feel seen and appreciated. I deserve that. I didn't get it until now, all right? I messed up. I wasn't there for you when you needed me. And if it's too late, I get it. But you gotta know, I care about you, for real. It sucks that you're just figuring this out. But Trace has been there, making me feel important. I can't keep waiting for you to change. It's not fair to me. Ready for our date? Sorry, little bro. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Snoozy lose. I never thought I'd have come to this. Losing her to my own brother? Gwen, you deserve better than Miles. He's always caught up in his own stuff. Barely any time for you. You need someone who puts you first. Someone who gets you. I miss him, Trace. All our good times, the laughs, the bond. But if he can't make us a priority, then maybe I should move on. How could he? How could my own bro do this to me? You're right. You deserve someone who treasures you. Not someone who takes you for granted. We could have something amazing together. But Trace, I still got feelings for Miles. I still love him. I just... I can't keep waiting for him to get his act together if he doesn't even try. I've lost her. I've lost her to my own brother. Ugh, guys, I can't believe it's come to this. I can't stand by and watch Trace steal Gwen away. We need to do something. Something big. I got an idea, bro. We expose Trace's true colors. We dig up dirt on him. Find something that'll make Gwen see him for who he really is. And not just Gwen, Miles. We'll expose him to the entire city. Make sure everyone knows what kind of a person Trace really is. But 
Won't that make us just like Trace? Using deception to get what we want? Come on! Sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire! It's not about sinking to his level. It's about protecting Gwen from his manipulation. Yeah, man. We'll be the heroes here. Unveiling the truth and saving Gwen from his clutches. All right, guys. Let's do this. We'll gather evidence, expose Trace's true intentions, and make sure Gwen sees him for who he really is. To justice, bro! And to saving Miles' girl from that bully brother! <laughs> yeah, make sure that Trace gets his just desserts. No more stolen girlfriends on our watch. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bring Trace down and win Gwen back. Operation Tarnish Trace starts now. We need to make sure that these rumors spread like wildfire. Let's start with the basics. Trace has his connections to the underground world, involved in shady dealings, maybe even mention a few specific incidents. Got it, bro. We'll say he's been spotted meeting with suspicious characters, exchanging mysterious packages. People love juicy details like that. And now we can create fake accounts. Posting Photoshop pictures of Trace in incriminating situations. Nothing too extreme, just enough to make people question his character. Perfect. Let's make it seem like he's been hiding his true identity all this time. We want everyone in Mega City to see him for who he really is, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And if anyone asks where we got the information, we'll just say we have anonymous sources. Keeps the mystery alive, you know? Oh, for sure. The mysterious dark agent of Mega City, revealing the truth one rumor at a time. All right, guys, let's unleash our rumors and let this chaos unfold. What is going on? I never saw this side of Trace before, but these rumors, they're shocking. Gwen, have you seen what's being said about me? It's all lies, I promise you. I'd never do anything to hurt you. I don't know what to believe anymore. These rumors, they're everywhere. I need to know the truth. I swear on everything that matters to me. Those rumors are baseless. Miles and his friends are just trying to tear us apart. They don't want to see us happy together. But why would they do that? This just doesn't make sense. Think about it. Miles had his chance with you, but he let you slip away. Now that I'm in the picture, he's trying to sabotage our relationship. I don't know what to do. I care about you, but these rumors, they've shaken me to my core. I need time to figure things out. I understand. Take all the time you need. You thought you could steal Gwen away from me, huh? Well, I'm not gonna let that happen, Trace. You were never enough for her, little brother. She deserves someone who could truly protect her. You may be bigger, Trace, but I've got something you don't. The powers of Spider-Man! You think you can outsmart me, little brother? I've always been one step ahead. You may have fooled me once, Trace, but not anymore. I see through your lies. This ends here. You won't hurt Gwen. You may have won this battle, little brother, but the war isn't over. Don't think you've seen the last of me. Are you okay? I saw everything. You stood up to him for me. Gwen, I... I had to. I couldn't let him hurt you anymore. I'm sorry for not seeing his lie sooner. I realize now that you've always been there for me. You've shown me what it means to be brave and true. I still have feelings for you. I never stopped loving you. And I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. No more secrets, no more deception. We'll overcome anything that comes our way. Let's leave your brother behind us and move on with our lives. Oh, come on, Gwenny. You gotta step up your game. 
as if... Miles, watch this. Girl, you look like a baby giraffe trying to moonwalk. <laughs> Better a giraffe than a spider trying to salsa. Hey, don't diss the salsa. It's a classic. <laughs> Sarah, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's you. What are you doing here? Missed you too much, sis. You have a twin? And you never thought it'd be cool to mention? Hey, we fell out years ago, okay? But I'm here now, ready to make up for lost time. I'm glad you're back, Sarah. I... Uh, I can see that, thanks. Hey, Sarah. Did anyone ever tell you... you look kinda like Gwen? It's a good thing, though. Gwen's awesome. Seriously, guys? Flirting with my sister? Let's leave these comedians to their... fun. messed up, didn't we? You think, Sherlock? Oh, man, I didn't see that coming. What? Sarah or Gwen's reaction? Both, I guess. I've got to admit, though, Sarah's pretty hot, isn't she? Hey, that's Gwen's sister you're talking about. So, you were thinking it too. Fine. She's attractive. Just like Gwen. <laughs> Look at us, swooning over a pair of girls. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, this night just got a lot more interesting. Remember when we swapped places in school? Miss Johnson was so confused. Oh, the look on her face was priceless. Sarah, good to see you. Hello, I'm right here, Miles. Oh, hey, Gwen. I didn't see you there. Yeah, clearly. You know, it's almost freaky how much you two look alike. But you've got this cool vibe. That's one way to put it. No, I mean it. You're... radiant. All right, Casanova, we get it. You're charmed. What? I'm just... Flirting with my sister? Again? No, I... Just... Being a creep? Yeah, I noticed. I was not. I was being nice. Nice? You were practically drooling over her, Miles. I was not drooling. Oh, right. My bad. You were just staring at her like she's the last slice of pizza. I was not. Whatever, Miles. Just tone it down, okay? Sarah's not interested in you. How do you know that? because I know my sister, and I know when someone's being a creep. Okay, Gwen. I get it. I'll reel it in. Good. Now can we go back to having a normal day? Sure. Miles, I, uh, I 
think I really like Sarah. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking about asking her out. Well, that's great, man. You think so? I don't want to mess things up. Hey, you never know unless you try. And who knows? Maybe we could even do a double date. Yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> Just remember, no weird spider analogies on the first date. <laughs> Deal. Hey, Sarah. I, uh, I was wondering if... If what, Spider Boy? If, uh, you'd like to go out with me? I didn't come here for a date. Uh, then why? I came to settle a score with Gwen. What? Oh, she didn't tell you? About the old boyfriend she stole from me. You... what? Now you see why I'm here. Miles, we need to talk. About what? It's about Sarah. What now? You already screw up your date? No, it's, uh... She's... She's here for revenge, man. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. I'm serious, Miles. She's trying to get back at Gwen for something in their past. You're just imagining things, Spidey. Fine. Don't believe me. I'm not gonna stand by and let Gwen get hurt. Gwen, we need to talk about Sarah. Sarah? What about her? She's, uh, she's here for revenge. Revenge? What are you talking about? She's trying to get back at you for something in the past. She told me. What? No, she wouldn't. Gwen, I'm telling you the truth. You're lying. My sister would never do that. Gwen, I... Just leave, Spidey. It's like my brain's in a blender, man. <laughs> oh, to be young and in love. Not in love. Oh, really? You sure about that? Miles Morales in the flesh. Fancy seeing you here. Sarah, I... I didn't expect... Expect what, Miles? Expect this? Sarah, I... I'm torn. I have feelings for you, but when? Is your girlfriend? I know. But it's you I can't stop thinking about. Then why not follow your heart, Miles? But what about Gwen? You should tell her the truth. And say what? Hey, Gwen, I'm in love with your twin sister. Something like that. Don't want to hurt her. Sometimes, Miles, you need to think about your own happiness. And who knows, maybe you should ask Gwen to move out. What? I can't do that. Why not, Miles? Scared of living a little? Gwen, we need to talk. What's going on, Miles? Miles, what the? Gwen, I didn't plan for this, but I, 
I'm in love with Sarah. How could you, Miles? Why don't you find somewhere else to live, Gwen? You're letting her do this. You're letting her kick me out. I... Uh, Gwen, it's best if you leave. Miles, you have no idea what she's capable of. Finally, I've avenged my past. <laughs>